The right backcountry ski boots will go largely unnoticed. The wrong ones will ruin your whole experience. We've been testing boots for almost six years and have been using them for decades beyond that. In 2021 we directly examined 14 models across a broad and deep spectrum. We have used almost 60 models in total, through our entire tenure. Our team of passionate and motivated skiers looks deeply at each pair. We use each in days and weeks of real backcountry skiing. We evaluate for fit, comfort, warmth, uphill performance, and downhill performance. Read on for a full breakdown of our findings. The first product on our list is Technica Zero G Tour Pro. A few years ago the Zero G Tour Pro entered the fray from longtime backcountry ski boot manufacturer Technica. Their previous touring boots were basically alpine boots with tech fittings and a walk mode. This update, though, is a full, ground-up touring boot, and is remarkable in many ways. Essentially, it is a normal ski boot that tours. The overall configuration is familiar and durable. The execution is light and well-balanced for all-around, high downhill energy backcountry skiing. The weight to downhill performance ratio is amazing, which amps up your speed records on the hill. This Technica is lighter than many options and skis downhill better than most at boots available at any weight. Further, the cuff range and low friction enable near effortless touring and walking. You immediately trust these boots for their familiarity, and the performance won't let you down. For 2021 the color of the Zero G Pro changed, but nothing else did. This is a good thing, it is actually hard for us to imagine, right now, how this boot could be meaningfully improved. That's high praise. All backcountry boots present inherent trade-offs. Right off the bat, uphill and downhill performance are inherently conflicting. Boots get better and better at optimizing both, but you can't have it all. There are definitely other boots that tour better than the Technica, and there are a few that ski downhill better. Further, to minimize weight and maximize performance, uphill and down, warmth is sacrificed, the Tour Pro is noticeably less insulating than average touring boots. However, when it comes to trying to balance these opposing performance metrics, this boot is the best of its class. For all this, but balanced even more to the lightweight, efficient end of the spectrum, check out the other highest award-winning Scarpa F1 LT. The next product in our list is La Sportiva Spectre 2.0. The La Sportiva Spectre 2.0 is among the least expensive boots we've tested. This makes it a high-value option that won't break the bank. Current backcountry ski boots are largely great. With our discerning initial selection criteria, and with the available magic of professional boot fitting, value hunting is often simply a matter of finding the cheapest thing in our list. The Spectre 2.0 has been on the market for years now, with past, subtly different versions, usually just color changes, often deeply discounted. They are light, tour well, and ski well enough for casual backcountry skiing. Get excellent help in fitting them to your feet, and you will be well served for a long time. When they debuted years ago, the La Sportiva Spectre was the world's lightest four-buckle backcountry ski boot. The benefits of low weight are obvious. The four-buckle qualifier is a sort of proxy for downhill performance. More buckles equals greater performance, to some degree. However, this claim has since been surpassed, and some products have gotten much better and lighter. Four-buckle options are now even lighter than some with fewer buckles and ski really well. In any case, the Spectre is a little out of date. Others ski and tour better and are lighter. At the price, though, you shouldn't be disappointed with its performance. The next product in our list is Atomic Backland Carbon. You want a second, lighter ski touring setup. Or you know, right off the bat, that you will prefer lighter weight ski gear. But you are on a budget. In this niche, the Atomic Backland Carbon is the best backcountry ski boot we have assessed. It uses proven technology and brings ultralight performance to a price point much further below close competitors. It is comfy and tours uphill like a dream. Pair it with similarly lightweight skis and bindings, and you will fly up entire mountains, fresh and ready for huge downhills. You'll pay a bit of a price on those downhills. 
The lower cuff and softer flex of these lightweight boots will never ski downhill like beefier options. We are confident that you will be more than willing to accept this compromise. However, you need to fully understand what you are getting into. These are suitable for expert level skiers, on small skis, that are willing to tone down the energy in their downhill skiing in exchange for uphill efficiency. Further, the fit of the atomic backland is relatively high volume. For optimum downhill performance in any sort of boot like this, a close fit is best. These will perform best for those with wider or higher volume feet. Making them work on narrower feet might not be worth it, check out other options if you have narrow feet. The next product is Lang XD3 120. The Lang XD3 120 is the best we've tested for downhill optimized performance. For someone who spends most of their time riding chairs or other mechanized access, it's a great choice. It's also optimal for those that typically engage in short tours, boot packs, and side country touring. It is one of a few available that will work with textile touring bindings and with resort alpine bindings, the resort bindings must be grip walk compatible. Our lead test editor and full-time backcountry ski guide has used them for day-to-day -day guiding, where comfort, downhill performance, and warmth are his biggest considerations. The weight and lack of touring mobility will narrow the appeal of these boots. They don't tour nearly as well as any other option we assess. We do not recommend them for big days or technical tours. That said, if you're a fan of going into the backcountry for short jaunts and want excellent downhill performance, where the uphill isn't as much of a concern, this is a top recommendation. We've seen people take these exact boots on 8,000 vertical feet walkabouts. It isn't recommended, and is more a testament to those testers' grit than to the efficiency of the boot. Nonetheless, almost anything is possible. The next product in our list is Dynafit Hoji 130. The Dynafit Hoji Free Tour 130 is the beefiest boot we can recommend for all-around, all-day, human-powered ski touring and ski mountaineering. It skis way better than all the other award winners, aside from the Lang XT3. It is lighter, with considerably more touring cuff efficiency than that same Lang. The Lang is too much for day-to-day -to -day touring. The Hoji Free is the absolute maximum weight we'd recommend for strenuous touring. You get excellent downhill performance and serviceable uphill efficiency. We like, on the surface and in some settings, the one-step transition feature. To loosen the cuff and release the lean lock requires just one lever. When you loosen the boot like this, from ski to tour mode, you get a touring mode that works, but isn't optimized. To get truly functional uphill touring performance, you have to loosen the top buckle and power strap separately. This is the same as on pretty much every other touring boot. We don't mind doing it, but we'd be really psyched if the one-step Hoji lock actually fully freed up the cuff. In the meantime, if we had to choose between the current system and a more traditional transition procedure that should be lighter, all else equal, we would choose a more traditional transition procedure. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.